Hello and welcome back to SHS Today. It's a new year and that means a new season of Salem High School News. I'm Bryce and joining me at the news desk today is Luke. Today we will be covering class wars, the teachers here at SHS, a teacher spotlight on Ms. Corbett, football and talking to students about what their favorite parts of their summer break was. First we are going to be talking about the upcoming class wars. Hi, this is Phineas Davey reporting for SHS Today. Today, we went around asking teachers and students about their opinion on class wars. What grade are you? Uh, I'm a junior. What's your favorite part about class wars? My favorite part is probably like dressing up and like, I don't know, just being competitive. Um, you're with like your whole grade, so it's everyone that you know, and you're just going against people, and I, I don't know, it's just fun. Um, I'm Tanner Cater, and I'm a junior. What are you most excited for about Class Wars Week? Um, honestly, I'm just excited to have like my whole class unite together. I really like that. Um, that's probably my favorite part. And yeah, thank you. <laughs> what is your name and grade? Levi, in ninth grade, freshman. All right. Um, uh, I heard lecture was pretty fun, and I'm really excited to be there. Miss Ramsell, and I teach geometry and algebra one. My favorite part is dressing up myself, but I like to also see all the kids in their spirit. So my name is Blake Mohan. I'm a senior. All right. Uh, what are you most excited for about Spirit Week? Um, I'm excited about we get to wear the shirts. Uh, I'm also excited about class colors. All right. And are you participating in any events? Yeah. Yes. I'm going to participate in the back circle. Grace Driscoll, senior. Um, I am excited for anything but a bad back day. Are you planning on participating in anything? Uh, yeah, hopefully I can uh, participate in tug of war or um, uh, I forget what the other one, maybe like a sack race or some, or some type of race. Uh, I'm looking forward to participating in anything that will help my class win and uh, yeah. I do, hopefully I can get some revenge on that rope pull. Okay. Seems like everyone's really excited for class wars. Back to you at the desk. This year, Salem High School hired many new teachers. We talked to those teachers about who they are and how their first week as Essays Edge has been. Hi, this is Luke reporting for SHS Today, and today we are going to be interviewing some of the new teachers. The first teacher we are going to be interviewing is Mr. Walbridge. Name is David Walbridge. I am the new chemistry teacher here at Salem High School. Uh, so Salem's been great so far. Uh, the community's been very welcoming. The staff are great. Uh, the students are not afraid to let their personalities out and they've made me feel welcome. I'm very excited to be here because so far I have realized that I'm going to be able to grow greatly as a professional here at Salem. And I can't wait to continue my, my teaching career here over the next, could be a couple of years, could be 43 years. So very excited to be here. Go Blue Devils. Next, we are going to be interviewing Mr. Nordengren. Hi, uh, my name is Ed Nordengren. I am new this year to uh, the Social Studies Department. I'm teaching Global Studies and American Studies too. Um, I have about 10 years teaching experience. I come from uh, the Wyndham School District. It's kind of cool to be back here because um, I went to school here about 20 years ago, and uh, it's, it's fun to be back and to see some of the same people and to be in a nice new building and um, Everyone has been really welcoming so far, so I've enjoyed my time. We're also going to be interviewing the new freshman dean, Mr. Little. So my name is Harrison Little. I am the new dean of the freshman class. Uh, I've been here in Salem now for about two months, and they've been a very uh, busy two months, but a productive and um, frankly fun couple of months as well, getting the lay of the land in this um, rather large building and getting to know all the people that, that work here. Say hi to all these new teachers if you see them. Back to you in the studio. Today's teacher spotlight is on one of Salem High School's English teachers, Miss Corbett. Hi, I'm Kennedy Carrier with SHS Today, and we're going to be doing a teacher spotlight on Miss Corbett. And what do you teach? I teach English. Why did you want to be a teacher? I love the moment when a student discovers something and their eyes just light up with understanding. That's the best moment. Working with students, I love that they surprise me every day and I love getting to know people. I'm going to add one more. What is your favorite memory from working at Salem High? I had a student my first year in the building 
before vacation, he forgot to clean his food out of his backpack, <laughs> and his backpack became infested with ants. And during our first period class, we discovered that our classroom was full of ants. And I loved how the entire class rebounded, joked together, pulled it together. And it was so funny. We got the custodians in the room and it was just a really wonderful thing that happened to kind of have that classroom come together and to have the staff come together for what ended up being a very funny moment. And I'm still Kennedy. Back to studio. We all know it's a new year for SHS. We're now going to interview the new class of 2027 about how they like it here at SHS. Hi, I'm Kirsten reporting for SHS Today. Today we asked the freshmen how they like Salem High School. What is it like being a freshman? Um, it's fun. It's just a little scary at the beginning. Oh, it's pretty good. It's okay. <laughs> all the teachers are better here. It's a big school, so sometimes you get lost. It's definitely interesting. Is it different from Woodbury? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, school's better than middle school. A lot different. Have you ever gotten lost in the hallways? Yeah, like once. We yeah, want to a couple of times. It, it's a really big school. Yeah, a couple of times. <laughs> Do you hear that people like fit yeah. around? <laughs> no. Please. Yeah, for the most part. I think everyone thinks we're like the weird new kids. Oh uh, yeah. Is it easy to make friends as like a freshman? Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you to all the freshmen that have participated. This is Kirsten Love. Back to you, Des. The new football season for the Blue Devils has finally arrived. Let's see how people are feeling about it. Good morning, Salem. My name is Bryce Cardi. Today we spent a little bit of time with the varsity football team and the student section leader asking about the upcoming season. I'm Danny Hughes. I'm a linebacker, fullback, and tight end. Uh, my name is Colby Gunda. I'm a defensive tackle. My name is Felix Gonzalez. I play running back. I'm Logan Halloran. I play split end and defensive back. I'm Lucius. I'm a DN. Uh, my name is Dom Hammond. What was the recent win against Keen like? It was good, but um, depending on your perspective, perspective uh, I don't know. Depends. It was a tough win. First game of the season, we got the first game jitters out, and uh, but we caught the win, so that's always good. It was it was hard fought. I think there was a couple of mistakes here and there, but we played. We kind of rallied back and closed it out at the end. It felt good to finally win again. <laughs> you know, two and eight last year kind of kind of sucked, so it was nice. What do you feel like you bring to the team? I feel that I bring some like leadership. Um, like I can like kind of put guys in the right places in certain plays or like kind of make sure everybody's in line and I think that um, everybody you know we're all friends so I feel like that I'm kind of like more like bringing every toge everybody together. A lot of energy to the team. Uh, I feel like I bring the laughs to the team. I don't know. Um, I think I'm a good teammate, a good mentor for the younger classmen and I think that helps. What are your strengths and weaknesses as a team? Um, I feel like we're very strong, we're very com we can communicate great. We are very together as a team. We like we all like the same things. We are all like we're very passionate about the game of football, obviously. And some weaknesses that we have to work on is probably just like just little things, just like if you're stepping in the right direction on a play and just stuff like that. I say we have good heart, better than last year's. Uh, I think we don't really have too many weaknesses. I think our big strength though is our unity. We really like we play for each other. Um, we have a lot of we have a lot of athleticism. We have a lot of run talent. Um, Nolan's a pretty good quarterback. Um, and our defense is pretty strong this year. What does being a captain mean to you? It's a very great achievement. I've been working, oh, like, I've been playing football my whole life. And, like, being a captain shows that you're great, you have great le leadership and just, um, like, great attributes that you bring to the team. So it, a very, it means a lot to me. And how's it feel like running the student section? So this is what this is what's gonna happen. So it's gonna it's gonna be loud every Friday night, home games and away games. We need to be there. We need to be loud. We need to bring the energy. When they score touchdowns, we need to let them know that we're hyped because we need to give them the energy. Because they're not gonna have any energy if we don't bring it. That's our job as students not on the football team is we need to be loud and proud to be Blue Devils. Thank you, and on to our next segment. Next, we're gonna be talking to people 
about how their summer was and what fun activities they did. Hi, this is Andrew Hennessy with SHS Today. Today, we talked to students about what the best part about their summer was. Um, probably some of the parties I went to over the summer, which was pretty fun. Um, I went to a concert and I touched Ricky Montgomery. I went to abandoned places. Uh, probably just like hanging out with friends, going around town, driving. Um, I'd say I moved up here from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, so being a new school. Uh, I'd personally say my favorite part of summer was when I went to King's Dominion with my aunt, my cousin, and my brother. My grandma and other aunt, Dante, came along too. <laughs> probably being able to sleep in late every day. Um, probably the Morgan Wallen concert. Probably going to like Iceland and London for vacation. Um, go on Sly. Yeah. Playing basketball. Well, it sounds like everyone had an eventful summer. This was Andrew Hennessy with SHS Today. Back to you in the studio. Next, we're going to be talking about Mr. Bouge, about his missing monkey, ooh, ooh, ah, ah. Hi, I'm Cohen Thelen with SHS Today, and today we'll be discussing the whereabouts of Bouge's monkey. Okay, do you still have the monkey? <sighs> I'm afraid the monkey is no longer with me. The monkey has been monkey-napped, I'm afraid, by a little demon, also known as my daughter. I'm very distraught. Um, when I told her the value of the monkey in my classroom, she proceeded to spit at me and yell at me and say, no, the monkey is hers. And so she is holding the monkey ransom. And let me just tell you, I do not negotiate with terrorists. Wow, that was bananas. Back to you in the studio. That's all the time we have for you today. I'm Bryce. And I'm Luke. And thanks, and for, thanks watching for watching SHS, SHS today. today. Have, have a good, a good week, good Selma. Week, Selma.